Well, we've been telling you for the past month now that Ryder, Chase, Marshall, Rocky, Sky, and the rest of the Paw Patrol are coming to Salisbury, and the time has finally come. But first, members of the Paw Patrol are on the Mid-South Audio stage. This is, of course, Chase, led by human Quentin Carvajal, a spokesperson for the Paw Patrol Live. Gentlemen, thank you. Well, gentle sir, thank you for coming in. <laughs> I know uh, Chase is kind of hanging out here doing yeah, his thing. Yeah, he is. Now, for folks at home who aren't familiar with Paw Patrol, First off, where have you been? Secondly, Chase is not the sit down, play dead, roll over type of a dog. No, he is not. He's a crime fighting machine. Yes, he is. So uh, we have been now to almost 73 cities, uh, 33 states over the uh, 11 month tour that we've been going on and taking Chase and his team of pups along with us. And um, we've just been you know, showing what Paw Patrol Live and what lessons we can teach the kids. Are you exhausted? Um, no, we just love keep on going. We love meeting all of our friends. No, Chase, Chase isn't exhausted either. No, he's not. He loves meeting all the all his friends, you know, out there and helping him find those three red clues and uh, race to the rescue. Now, what got you into Paw Patrol? Oh, so uh, I love the messages that they teach the kids. So this is um, for the first time a lot of two to six year olds first time experiencing live theater and bringing Chase to the stage. So having that experience of bringing those kids to uh, live theater and have the chance to learn really valuable life lessons sure. um, is a lot of fun. Now, for again, for those at home, can you just give us an overview of Chase and the crew? Of course. So um, Chase, along with his team of pups, will be running the Great Adventure Bay race, uh, helping Mayor Goodway because she injured her foot. And we had to find three yellow clues before Mayor Humdinger does uh, at the end of the race. So we asked the audience to see if they can spot those three, red, uh, those three yellow clues. and. Uh, come along the race with us. Now I'm excited, now I wanna go. Yeah, we have them get up and dance, it's a lot of fun. What goes into preparing a show like this? Um, so, it's like a mini rock concert. So we have all the live theatrical lights that you would, we have um, Broadway sets, I mean, they're stunning and colorful. Um, so we really immerse uh, the audience as if they were in Adventure Bay. You know, it's a fun place to be, isn't it, Chase? <laughs> now, with kids having the attention span of a fly, pretty much, it, do you find that it's kind of difficult keeping them entertained, or have you kind of overcome that obstacle? Um, I think that we have overcome that obstacle because it is very interactive. We give the audience member pom-poms, and we say, shake your pom-poms if you see that clue on the stage. Or um, by the end, when uh, we're having a good time, we have them interact and say, get up and dance, join us. We're having a blast. Oh, very cool. Now, yes. are tickets still available? Um, they are, so you can either go to pawpatrollive.com or you can go to the box office and you can pick up your tickets there. And we do have some very important pup tickets as well. So if you wanna have a chance to meet uh, Ryder and a couple of the pups after the show, you can do that as well. Now you guys will be tonight and tomorrow night at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. Absolutely, yeah, six o'clock. All right, now what ages will be appropriate for the show? All? Oh, I, every age. Perfect. I That's mean, those I like parents, we got, we got some fun guests that aren't even in really Adventure Bay that you see and the parents love those, those uh, special guests, so it's fun. Very cool. Yeah. Quentin, Chase, thank you guys so much for coming on. This has been uh, quite the hoot, I'd say.